How's it going? I'm Waterfields1. Welcome back to the PlayStation 4 News, your weekly roundup on everything happening in the world of PlayStation. To stay up to date, please do subscribe, turn notifications on. But with that said, let's do it. First up this week, the release date for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga has been revealed. Now, the game was revealed last year at E3 by developer Traveller's Tales. Well, this week, the official release date was casually dropped in a video featured on the official LEGO channel. In said video, presenter Kristen Baver said, Releasing on October the 20th, play out your favourite moment brick by brick. That pretty much confirms it for me. So LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga is set to launch on October the 20th. Furthermore, to celebrate May the 4th, Traveller's Tales did release some new artwork with the following description. Players can fight against the forces of evil as favourite characters such as Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Rey, Finn, BB-8 and a legion of other heroes. Or turn to the dark side as Darth Vader, Kylo Ren and more. Thrilling locales also serve as a backdrop to the action-packed key art as players can engage in some of the film's most legendary battles. From the landmark start to the Clone Wars in the Battle of Genesis, to manning an Alliance Snowspeeder at the Battle of Hoth to take on the Imperial's treacherous ground forces, generations of Star Wars lore and fandom will collide. Logically, this should be the last ever Star Wars LEGO game. It absolutely won't be but it is gearing itself up to be the ultimate LEGO Star Wars experience. So that is LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga launching on October the 20th, 2020. Developer ILMX Lab have revealed Vader Immortal, a Star Wars VR series, will be launching on the PlayStation VR in the near future. Now the game will include all three episodes currently available on the PC alongside every single lightsaber dojo. Now this game has been very very well received on the PC, so it's certainly worth checking out. But that is Vader Immortal, a Star Wars VR series, arriving on the PlayStation VR very soon. Codemasters have revealed Dirt 5, with the emphasis appearing to move even further away from racing simulation and sliding into the realms of Arcade Racer. Having said that, there will be realistic damage modelling, a huge roster of officially licensed vehicles spanning generations of racing, beautiful lighting and weather effects of course and the game will be set over 10 different locations with over 70 unique routes. The career mode will feature voice acting from Mr. Nolan North and of course Mr. Troy Baker and the game will launch on both the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 featuring cross-generation play. The game is planned for an October release but that is Dirt 5 launching this October. VR Gladiator game Gorn will be launching on the PlayStation VR on the 19th of May 2020 is another very popular PC VR game jumping across to the PlayStation VR which is great news indeed. I mean the PlayStation VR library is looking pretty solid now. Speaking of which The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is out now for the PlayStation VR. PC gamers absolutely love this VR game and developer Skydance Interactive claim they have optimised the game for its PlayStation VR release, which is very, very good news indeed. As I mentioned, it's very well thought of on the current VR market, so based on what PC owners have said, The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners is a must own for any PlayStation VR owner. Respawn Entertainment Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order has a new update which is currently live. It adds optional combat challenges and arenas which will see you face off against wave after wave of enemies across a variety of locations. You'll also be able to make your own challenges for your friends and the wider community. Of course there's a whole bunch of cosmetic items to unlock as well but that is your free update which is live right now for Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Skater XL has a confirmed release date for the PlayStation 4. It'll be launching on the 7th of July 2020. This is the technical 
skating simulator game, so it's not going to be like Skate or Tony Hawk. They were a bit more arcadey. So yeah, this is one for hardcore skaters, I guess. But that is Skater XL launching on the 7th of July 2020. The PlayStation Now library for May has been updated. They have added Get Even, The Evil Within 2, and Rainbow Six Siege. Great service great collection of games enough said about playstation now 2k games have revealed pga 2k 21 with a full reveal of the game scheduled for the 14th of may of course this is a build on the popular golf club 2019 so it should have a pretty strong following already hopefully it's nothing like the latest wwe 2k game but yeah Full reveal for PGA 2K21 on the 14th of May. A brand new expansion pack for The Sims 4 has been revealed. It's called the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack. It focuses on the new city of Evergreen Harbour and it's scheduled to launch on the 5th of June and it's going to cost you £35. Yep, you heard that right. It's going to cost you £35, but that is the Eco Lifestyle Expansion Pack for Sims 4 launching on the 5th of June. Those Who Remain has a confirmed release date for the PlayStation 4. It'll be available from the 28th of May. Now the game is a psychological horror experience all about the town of Dormant in which players must confront the unknown horrors reflected by the darkness and survive the night. Edward is faced with a test of his sanity, morality, and the shadows of evil that lurks below. That sounds like a happy, happy game, but that is Those Who Remain launching on the PS4 on the 28th of May 2020. Strategic Shooter Disintegration will be launching on the PS4 on June the 16th. Now, this comes from some of the team members who made the first Halo game. I mean, it could be something special, but it looks pretty generic to me. But nonetheless, Disintegration will be launched watching on the 16th of June. The final story of the week is your UK multi-platform game sales chart and in at number 10 we have Forza Horizon 4, number 9 is Red Dead Redemption 2, number 8 is Final Fantasy 7 Remake, number 7 Luigi's Mansion 3, number 6 Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, number 5 Grand Theft Auto 5, number 4 Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, number 3 Call of Duty Modern Warfare, number 2 Animal Crossing New Horizons, Horizons and number one FIFA 20. There you have it, that's it for another week of PlayStation news. If you're new around here, please do subscribe and turn notifications on. Ladies and gents, we did it. Yep, we have now surpassed 3,000 subscribers, so a massive thank you to everyone that supports the channel. I want to roll it back a little bit. I'd like to do a Q&A video, so if you've got any questions that you want to ask me, which I will then answer in a separate video, then please do post those in the comments section below. It's what people used to do all the time on YouTube in like... 2012 or something like that so yeah i'd like to do a q a so any questions you'd like to ask me leave those in the comments section below once again thank you for the support you're all awesome feel free to follow me on twitter and instagram enjoy your week stay safe enjoy your gaming see you later